Hello, okay, so this is Warsim, and this time I'm gonna play. I'm uh, not gonna play a save. Let's start a new game. Random races. I'm gonna play on insane mode. Are we gonna play on insane mode? Fuck it, why not? Here we go, this is my, my little fort that I'm living in. Uh, see if we can figure out. Cope, Quex, Warlords, I don't know what they are. Maple Locks, so we've got tree people. Okay, three eyed troglodytes, valley men. Sunlight men, diaphorn, three-eyed ents, goblins and demons. Okay, uh, let's go to the ceremony. Who am I? You enter the throne for the first time as the ruler of Azlona. Crowds of people gather to see you as their new king. As the uh, you take a moment to observe the room, the high general of Azlona approaches. Looks like Bart Simpson got really ugly. Okay, I hope you are well, my lord. I shall crown you as the one true king of Azlona. You gain the title through a bet with the previous king, who is now poor and fortuneless. Though many have revolted against you, your crowning, we as noble servants of the crown must stand behind you. Crap, I read that like a robot. Alright, I crown you as king of his loan along, may you reign. Um, I don't need a tutorial, so I'm going to skip. Alright, so I've got 2,550 gold, 15 men and one land. Yeesh, not making it easy for me. Alright, well, let's, I guess, go through each different layer of options, I suppose. Figure it out from there. Alright. So, I mean, we kind of want some men. Because we've got so few. But also, we need to preserve this money like it's all we've got. Because it's all we've got. Um, right. We'll screw it. Let's have a look. So... Wow, they're charging 27 gold for a peasant as well. That's a lot of money. Um, we could waste all our money hiring a mercenary group to try and attack one of the minor bandit gangs. Let's go for the Azra Vigil Invade. Oh, they lost. Fuck. Okay, well, that was a shitty fucking attempt. All I was thinking was if they captured the land, we'd have a second land, and then we wouldn't be so on the tip of our seats. Because if we lose this land we've got by being attacked by anyone, we're fucked. Okay, so that was a fail. Um, these guys... Okay. Well, I'm a gambler, right, apparently. Let's go to the Royal Bank first of all. We'll draw all that gold. And let's go to the arena. And let's start betting on fights. They're not accepting bets this season. Shit. Alright. Okay, I missed that. I don't know what that was. Fuck. Um, throne room. Anyone here want to help me? Oh, a magic orb. Yes, please. Um, no, I'm not going to enlist you. Um, I'm going to forcefully enlist your two children. I'm not going to pay... Why is everyone charging me to enlist them? I'm not hiring mercenaries. I am poor. A sunlight soldier. Alright. Kaldar's domain of full time. He seeks to fight for you because you seem interesting. I am interesting. Thank you for noticing. Okay. No. Fuck that. Yeah, hate me. I'm not going to pay for your chicken. Alright. Um, if you should capture the black market, do not leave it unprotected. Those bandits will be back to capture it if it's undefended. Alright. Um, ooh, a bard wishes to play me a song on his loot. Well, uh, I can appreciate music. Go for it. Wow. It's the next Kurt Cobain. Alright. That was a great performance. Um, Alright. 97 gold a year? Nah, we can't do that. Alright. Um, tell me about yourself, young man. His name is Aperion. I'm a guild member, but I keep myself mostly independent. Alright, cool. Goodbye now. Um, ooh, a valley barbarian. Yes, please. This guy looks rough. Okay. So that's that. Um... Okay, what else can I do? Can't bet in the arena. Maybe I should just bite the bullet and hire this group to try and attack the Azure Hill Vigil. We know they're weakened. No, oh, they're charging. They charge 486 gold per invasion as well for the risk that's involved. Fuck. Okay, these guys are charging even more. Holy crap! And they cost more by default. This is not good. All right, these guys will not do it either because they're too expensive. Fuck. Me. Okay, um... Alright, so mercenary company's not a thing. Hiring people, not a thing. Um, staff. Mm, nothing we can really do here. 
Okay, what about if we change the laws of the land? Um, yes, we need all the taxes we can get. Forceful enlistment. I'm going to stop peasant training because we want people who make money, not people who cost money. Um, are there any other policies we can do? Not really. Not Nothing really worthwhile. Kingdom upgrades. Convert knights to recruiters so we can get more peasants. Happy days. Okay, throne room. We've done it. Arena? Nope. Royal Bank. I'm going to put all my money in the Royal Bank because I feel like it's going to get stolen. Um, this, we can't do look at other buildings. We've used all of our expiration chances. Um, and there's no reports. Oh, we don't have any slaves. So this is literally everything I can do on my first turn. So we're just going to end the turn and hope for the best. Not going to attack anyone because that would be stupid. Alright, here we go. What has happened? So we've received 50 gold. People aren't happy about me charging them for banking. Seven peasants desert me. Um, how many people have we gained? 13. So we we lost a few. Minor bandit groups make away with all the money we've made. Old Kroll, my diplomat, has quit. Oh, that's what I should have done. Diplomacy. Now it's too fucking late. Alright, so we don't have a, any staff. All 25 of my peasants join the bandit horde. So some of them join the peasant... Oh, fuck. Alright, this is not good. Well, I didn't get attacked, but I've been ditched. I have no money. Six men. One land. Quite low public opinion, all things considered. This is bad. This is real bad. Okay. Oh, fuck. I can't do diplomacy. Alright, the only thing I can hope is that I try and hire a diplomat and we get a volunteer. No. Shit. Balls. Alright. We'll hire... Oh, we can't even afford the hire cost. Oh, God, this is tragic. Okay, um... Sell my soldiers. I have four. I'm going to sell all four of them for 100 gold. And we're going to go to the arena. Hope for the best. Goblin Berserker probably beats Soldier. I'm betting my life on it. Shit. Okay. No no, no matter. We've got bank money. Withdraw all. Ah, oh, fuck. I put a gambling tax on and I shouldn't have. Okay. No, we should move the gambling tax because it increases the arena bet limit. Three-eyed Ent champion every day. 500 gold on that. This is where things will start turning around. Alright, a dire fauna arms versus a blind peasant. No brainer. Alright. Okay, we've got a valley barbarian warrior against a vagrant soldier. Ooh. I mean, barbarian warrior sounds better than a soldier, right? So, especially if, I mean, va vagrant, does that mean like... I mean, I know it means they sort of roam around. I can't remember if that makes them weaker or not. Shit! Fuck. Okay. Agitated Valley Barbarian of Crom. Or Blessed Warlord. This is tough. I'm going to bet 100 on the <laughs> Barbarian. Yes. Okay. Um, Sunlight Knight. Ooh, this is tough. You've got a Knight against a, an Ent. I'm going to go for the Knight. I think I think he's a strong unit. 1,000 gold. Oh, this is a risky bet. Okay. He won. Three-Eyed Ent versus Three-Eyed Entling. Okay, I'll take a tree over a sap any day. Two grand. Let's see how this goes. Four grand. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Mutilated three-eyed entling against three-eyed troglodyte. Oh, God. Six eyes in this battle. Okay. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm going to bet a little bit on the troglodyte just because an entling is kind of like a sap and it's already been cut to pieces. We'll bet a hundred. There we go. Oh, shit. Missed it. Um, all right. Berserker. Yes, Goblin Berserker's got to win. 90 gold, I'm going to bet. Damn. Okay, Three-Eyed Troglodyte Cave Lord. That thing sounds tough. How about 480? Oh, it was a Troglodyte, though. It's weak. Oh, nice. It actually won. It gets a light hit on the Valley Barbarian, blocks a swift blow, kicks him backwards, and then strikes him on the head with great force. What a beating. All right, next fight. Craw the Wind Watcher versus Mortho Goldfist. Hmm. Two champions at once. How interesting. Goldfist or Wind Windwatcher sounds pretty pretty deep. Let's go for that. Yes. Alright. Windwatcher fights again. Alright, this time I'm feeling more confident. Fuck it, this could go really badly. Yes! Alright, so I am now good. I have done well. We have money and stuff. So no one has come to visit me in my throne room. I'm gonna deposit three thousand. That'll be a nice little nest egg for next turn. Um, I'm gonna hire. I'm gonna hire a bunch of tribal goblins, and eighteen peasants. Okay, so I've got a. T I've got more men than I had before, but that's not hard to 
to achieve, right? Um, so I'm going to hire these guys to attack the the Azra Hill Vigil. They lost. Okay, shit. I'm going to hire these guys to do the same. I'm going to let's have a look. Assess. They're a group of well-trained warriors. All right. Well, you know what? Fuck it. Worth it. We'll get an extra land out of it. Can't afford it. Bollocks. Okay. What about these guys? Let's assess. They're a group of well-trained warriors as well. But there's less of them. A hell of a lot less of them. So it's going to cost me two and a half grand to do that. Oosh. Okay. We'll, get, we'll, we'll take a bit more out of the bank, I think. Hire mercenary companies. Better be worth it. All right. We're going to send them after the Azure Hill Vigil. Yes, we captured a land. Okay. This is big. We have two lands now, which means we'll get more of everything every turn, more tax, more recruits. And if we get attacked and the lands get captured, which they will if anyone tries to attack us, because we have 37 men, at least we won't instantly lose the game. So it's kind of like buying myself a second life, I guess. Um, so I still have one more life to go if I lose. That's what lands are, essentially. Um, they just multiply things, too. So, are we going to put anything I've got left in the Royal Bank? Let's deposit all of that. And... Uh, oh, no, right. I know what I was supposed to do. I need to hire a diplomat, don't I? Um, withdraw. Withdraw 300. That'll be enough. Um, staff and champions. What diplomats we got? Merchant, the headstrong, and the goblin. Uh, we'll go for the headstrong. He's the best and cheapest, which is weird. Brit the headstrong. Right, now let's go to diplomacy. And let's try and convince people not to fuck me up. Alright, we can't afford to convince them. Uh, goblins, you can't really be diplomatic with them. Purple clan. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we can't do any diplomacy with them. The valley men, they don't mind us. They're led by God King Krampus the Brutal. Has he got a crown? He has. Okay. Um, so, trade agreement, please. Oh, he needs to trust me more, which means I need to give him money or something. Fuck. Can't afford that. Okay. I wonder what locations they got. Bot like hovel. Oh, they have a weird architecture style. Okay. Um, Kaldar's domain, please. Oh, man. They're not even bad. They'll even accept a truce, but I can't even afford a fucking emissary to send to them. Okay. Can I hire a soldier? I need to hire one as an emissary. And uh, let's go to... Where is shit? Where is it? Diplomacy. Independence. All right. Oh, fuck. No, they... Oh, bollocks. They want stuff. All right. What about the ultimate hill kingdom? Four grand. I can't do that. And three events. Trade agreement. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. The peach root sultanate of Maple Lock accept the trade deal and the promise you will kill and hang three peasants from your gates until they're nothing but bone. You know what? At this point, an ally is worth it. I'm going to do it. You order it to be done, and three peasants are snatched from your streets and hung from the gates. Rumours of the injustice spread quickly, as, and men curse you from across the lands. Well, you know, what are you going to do? All right, alliance. Oh, they want me to burn a hundred peasants. Fuck. Uh, we don't have a hundred peasants. Damn. I mean, I wouldn't do it even if I did, right? I guess. Um, there's no militia. The minor bad. Ba oh, minor goblin clans. Yes. Okay, trade. Um, send word of my pleasure at the agreement. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna set up very happy little trade agreements with these guys. And the last clan, Clan Ruftro, or Ruftro. I don't know how you say that. These goblin clans are cool. They will trade with me. Um, gold. Let's take it to the bank and deposit whatever's left because I won't keep it. And here we go. So. The rebel lord has given a speech which has painted you as an oppressor. The speech has turned many against you. Oh no. I literally have 35 men. The re I, I need to check how many the rebels have. But let's have a look. So, um, Norwood, the war chief, leader of the black market, has died of unknown courses and been replaced by Zorvo the goblin. Okay. Um, we received a... Oh wow. That is a hell of a lot of gold. Yeah, all things considered, anyway. Um, received taxes, 60 gold from bank tax law... You receive word that the ultimate hill kingdom of Skull, the protecting Monfort Mine. I see. Did anyone desert me this time? 18 peasants enlisted. Recruiters recruit one peasant. Literally no one left. We, we got robbed by it for a lot, though. One, 
1,010 gold taken by minor bandit groups. Holy shit. It's not good. I guess they're mad because we kind of attacked one of the minor bandit groups. I want to scorn in the world. Bandits raided the lands of the hill kingdom of Skuld. Iraq attack and time to attack the rebels. Oh, thank God for that. There's someone attacking the rebels. So basically, the rebels are the only real enemy of, of my sort of kingdom because they're rebelling against me. They're not rebelling against anyone else. It's kind of like if there was a kingdom and, and it's split. In this game, I guess I would say they're probably truer of a kingdom than I am because I've got a scrap full of men in a tiny little fort. And why they haven't attacked me yet, I don't know. Um, in the normal game, they're sort of secondary and they're smaller than you, but the whole point of the rebellion is they're trying to prove themselves as stronger than you so that they can oust you and reclaim Aslona. Um, so yeah, it's good that they're being attacked by someone because it means they're weakened and they're going to be busy fighting someone else. If if they end up hating this um, the faction of goblins more than they hate me, they'll end up in a bitter war with them and they'll basically forget about us until either they're dead or the goblins are dead. Um, so let's see, the, the purple clan of Kopek, or Kopek, I don't know how you say that, they invaded the Baldur Gang, and Carlos came in a full time, invaded the lands of the Krut. Huh. Rebels have enlisted eight new soldiers. Now, they're not gaining that much power, and I mean, they probably lost some people in that battle, so. Uh, maybe maybe not, though, because the Iraq lost a skirmish. This is interesting. Well, a lot of stuff is going on, anyway. The world is exciting. So I've got 54 men now. This is good. This is really good news. And I've actually ended up with money where I normally wouldn't have. So we're going to draw all the gold. Let's go to the arena, and this time the, bat the betting ceiling should be higher. So a Sunlight Soldier, I'm going to bet two grand on that against the Peasant if this this goes wrong. Okay, happy days. Um, Valley Barbarian of Crumb. Now I think Barbarian of Crumb is like the highest level of this faction. Goblin Warlord is similarly the highest of the Goblin faction, so it's tough. I'm going to bet a thousand, because that the Crumb Barbarian sounds rough. Nice, nice. Ooh, Blind Gladiator versus Three-Eyed Ent. Ooh, I want to say an Ent is overall going to be a more powerful unit, but a Gladiator is also tough, but the fact that he's blind should really fuck his stats up. So, there we go. Three-Eyed Ent won. Goblin Berserker will probably be a Peasant, but we don't know. Nice. Alright, Mysterious Sunlight Knight. Oh, I think Mysterious means it could have any, any number of stat changes, which could mean that he could be really weak. Hopefully not. Fuck. Damn, he literally didn't do anything. The three ident smashes the mysterious knight, swings for him, but misses only slightly. They get caught in a parry, which the ent then breaks and whacks him. Gets a light hit on him, and then a critical hit on him. Wow, what a beating. Alright. Valley Barbarian Warrior, or Bandit Warlord Pirate. Hmm. Bandit Warlord Pirate, I think, is, is like a special one. Get about 500 gold on it. Yes, alright. Knight versus three-eyed Ent Champion. Ent Champion will probably smash the knight up, so I'm going to bet 1,500. Yes. Okay, three-eyed Ent. Ooh, 7,000 gold. He's a homeless sunlight peasant. Peasants already a weak. Homeless will probably make it slightly, slightly weaker. An Ent is going to crush him, surely. I would have bet everything on it. Oh, thank God. If that had gone wrong, I don't know what I would have done. Okay, so we're pretty we're pretty good now. This is this is good grounds to start off. We're gonna hire a shitload of goblins. We're gonna hire all the peasants we can. I'm gonna sell the soldiers I have. I have one. This is the guy I hired early actually. A mercenary groups. What I need to I need to get myself a new member of staff. I need a high general. Please tell me we get a volunteer. No, okay. Let's see what they say. Greetings, my name is Rayek of Fort Kulak. I was once considered one of the greater generals in the land. I promised my mother I'd serve you. I demand payment of 170 gold per season. Alright. Well, greetings, my name is Bathashir of the Near North. I've won a fair few battles in my time. If you don't harm me, I'll go and join your enemies. <laughs> I expect payment of 119 gold. And finally, Monocon the Shy. Weird name. Oh my god, what the fuck are you? Hello, I'm Monocon the Shy. I've won a fair deal of victories in my time. I wish to serve you. I want to have that freak in my, my court. That, that's awesome. Alright. Um, so, if we ask Monocon... Um, so yeah, hide away any dead factions. Let's view the current troop count. I have a, a Valley Barbarian, a Sunlight Soldier, 71 Goblins and 37 Peasants. 110 total troops. What about the faction rankings? Let's see. So it seems like I have the most money at the moment. But other than that, 
worryingly, the rebels have the most soldiers in the land, which is very worrying. But it seems like Kaldar's domain of Fultheim is the greatest faction of all. They have the most troops, the most lands, the most peasants and knights. They're pretty much number one on almost everything. Um, what I want to know is if I can see the minor bandit gangs, which of them are the weakest? So Azra Hill Vigil, the ones I've been attacking, are actually really weak. They've got 117 men, about the same as me. So I could focus on them right now and probably crush them. I'm going to hire the cheapest. These are the guys we had last time. So Gark, Melar, Sen, you better get me my money's worth. Let's invade. And we did it again. 58 of them killed. So that's more or less half of them, right? We do it one more time, evade. And that is probably the remaining amount of them, right? So is this the end of them? There we go. Congratulations. The Azra Hill Vigil have been crushed. A lone knight who has dedicated his life to their eradication joins and pledges his life and honour to you. Alright. So, that is awesome. Right. So, what do we do now? We've got four lands. We've got quite a few men. Um, let's see. Let's work our way through it. Maybe we... I mean, if we send a mercenary group to attack the rebels, it's just going to make the rebels notice us again. We want them to kind of ignore us and carry on their battles. Um, maybe I can get peace. So, we want to get peace with Kaldar's domain. All oh, right, I sold my uh, mercenary, didn't I? Um, because Kaldar's domain are just going to shit on us. See if there's anyone... No one wants to see me in the throne room. That's disappointing. Exploration. Oh my god. You see the envoy of a foreign king, whose banner you do not recognize. As you approach and explain that you too are a king of the land, uh, and ask him his business. He claims he's passing through the realm in search of noble knights to fight for his cause, and he will hire a single one if you permit. Ah, oh, I don't have a knight. Oh wait, I do! I must have... How the hell do I have a knight in my party? Fuck! Oh my god, that's the knight I gained as a reward for defeating the Azra Hill Bandits. And I've just gained 1,500 gold. You order one of your knights to join the foreign king. The king thanks you and moves on. Well, that was fortunate. Alright, so that basically almost paid for our campaign. Or half of it. Um, what are we going to do now? Throne room, arena, royal bank. I mean, definitely we should put some away. Um, so I'm going to deposit. Oh, shit, no, I don't want to deposit all. Let's withdraw 2,500 gold to play with. So can we recruit anyone? Mm, soldiers and knights. Let's recruit one soldier. Just in case I need an emissary. And, you know what, actually, that is pretty much all I can do right now. Um, Laws of the Land, Diplomacy, Mercenary Companies. Yeah, let's uh, let's put this back in the bank. And let's see what happens this turn. Still, I'm not going to attack anyone again. Oh, if only I could remember which one was the weaker of these minor gangs again. We've got the Watery Northern Cavalry, the Grey Banded Rebels, the Boulder Gang, and the Eric Reindeer Butchers. Wait, they butcher reindeers. What a bunch of bastards. Okay, one of the nobility sends a large reserve of gold to aid your cause. I gained a grand. That's awesome. All right, so, Monarch on the Shy. Sir, we're being attacked by rebels. Do you want to watch? The militia have also sent 16 troops to def assist on the defense. So we've got a small band of militia people that are kind of around. Um, and when we hire any peasants, they come from this pool of troops. So um, if we had hired any of the ones before, this would be a little bit bigger. 16 men have come to help us. I still think we're going to get fucked. The rebels have just 600 soldiers alone, and that's only one of the unit archetypes. They're going to crush us. Yeah, we were slaughtered. Uh, they sent 193 men against 42 of ours. The militiamen were killed, a couple of peasants and a couple of goblins. We lost. Um, it was only a skirmish, though, so they didn't take anything. All right. Oh, God. Okay. So. Zorda, the goblin leader of the Black Market, creates a statue of himself. Why is that news to me? Um, we get a bunch of money from stuff. 38 of your peasants desert and join the rebellion. Holy fuck. Minor bandit groups take uh, not a lot of money from me, to be honest. Bandit horde hire a small army of 100 bandits from the Black Market. That is troubling. That is a worrying affair. Okay. Alright, so the rebels defeated us. The Grey Bannered rebels invaded the lands of the Iraq. Balder gang attempted to raid the Pibble lands but failed, and the Eric Rainier butchers attempted to invade the lands of Petrut but failed. 
So stuff's going on. It's a shame that no one attacked the rebels this turn. It means that they're kind of turning their eyes onto us now, and that is bad. They're gaining more troops from us than uh, than they are from anything else. Thirty-eight new troops from us, seven new troops from their own recruitment, from their six lands as well. Fuck, it's not good. All right, one hundred and seven goblins. I'm gonna hire them. Peasants, they'll stay in the militia, but oh, I don't know what to do. Like, fuck it, we're gonna hire them. All right, so the militia doesn't exist anymore. Right, let's explore. Finally, we discovered the slaver's fort. I'm going to hire... F oh, wait, if we hire all these slave soldiers, we're kind of screwed. All right, I'm going to hire as many slaves as I can. Uh, 300. Maybe another 120. Maybe another 20. And another 20 again. There you go. So, probably could have mathed that better, but we've got a lot of them. Now let's go to Kingdom Reports. Let's free them because there's 460. They've, there's more slaves than there are people. There's going to be a revolt. So we're going to free as many of them as we can and see if... So we've got a couple of them joined us. That's cool. Right, now I need to... Uh, let's withdraw all. Let's go to the arena. Let's do what we do. Make some money. So we've got a Valley Barbarian of Crom um, versus a Sunlight Peasant. Oh, this is easy. I'm going to bet 10k that it's going to be that. 20 grand. Okay. Um, three ident champion. Any time. Four thousand gold on them. Okay. Happy days. So we're doing well. Maybe I should hire a really strong mercenary group to attack. So five hundred dead outsiders. Yassel the bristled. That is a weird looking orc. Assess the group. They're an unimpressive bunch of recruits. Okay, that's a shame. Three grand for one attack though. We're gonna hire them to skirmish the rebels, just to weaken them. Not even take any land. Skimish, good way to weaken the enemy. Wise choice. Thank you, Monocon. Okay, go ahead. Your men arrive at the rebels' territory and prepare for the battle that will soon take place. You spot a rebel village and the enemy emerges. It was a victory. We killed 173 of their men. All right, now now it's serious then. Now we're going to start invading. We're going to capture their land. Fuck. Okay, Yassel the Bristle died. Shit, I shouldn't have done that. All right, well, either way, they only... They survived by two men! Two men! Fuck! So if Yassol the Bristled had killed two more enemy soldiers, they would have won. Wow, that was... To be fair, though, the rebels did very well in that battle. They slaughtered this, the mercenaries. Like a five to one or more. Yes, they really were an unimpressive bunch of recruits. Even against peasant rebels, though, that's bizarre. What a battle. Okay, well, it was worth a shot. We've significantly weakened the rebels, I know that for sure. All right. Has anyone visited me in the throne room? We've got four visitors. Guy wants to join us. You may very well join me. Um, a man who claims one of your soldiers killed his favourite chicken, Sharik. Nothing will bring him back. Get the fuck out of my court. Okay, next. A uh, wise man says he has some advice to share. Go on then. Nine gold. Better be good. Dead enemies are better than living friends. A king is better unmatched by any. That matched by m many a friend. For friends are fickle. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, next. Um, you're visited by an old woman who claims her to be the mother of one of your dead soldiers. She's coming on hard times so and can only afford to eat. Ugh. Freaky looking woman. Alright, sure. 30 gold. There we go. I'm known as kind now. That's great. But my public opinion is still terrible. Overall. Right, uh, can we explore and find anything else? No? Okay. Let's hire a shitload of, a, uh, of these slaves. What we're going to do... And this is where it gets interesting now. I'm going to free the slave, the loose slaves, because they can't do anything combat-wise. So now we've got enough that it'll balance out. We've got 1,367 men. So we're, we're established now. We're a good, strong faction. Um, what I need to do now is speak to my staff. Uh, let's view the faction rankings. So, shit. So now that we've knocked the rebels out of the race, Kaldar's Kal domain is number one in it. Everything but money. Um, and I can't make... Uh, how far off are they on money, even? Um, oh, wow. They're not that far off, though. Shit. Where are we on that list? I've got, like, 200 gold more than them. Less than that. Jesus Christ. Kaldar's domain is just impressive as fuck. Okay, we're going to leave them to that. Um, if I change troop wages... I'm going to put my wages up to the maximum. Oh, I can't afford that, though. That's going to stay the same. But soldier wages are now really high, so they get five times the pay they would normally get. 
which means we're going to get people who are going to come to me now like, from the rebellion or otherwise f based on the fact that it's such a high paying place all right so i'm going to put um well what we need to do is build some palisades i think so defense palisades less likely to get raided by bandits also convert knights to recruiters yes please so we've built palisades it's cost me a fair bit of money but it means that it's now harder for them to raid me every turn so it's kind of like if they were if they had a one in three chance of raiding me now it's a one in five or something like that um but that is per gang and there are four left as well as the main bandit gang so it works out sort of still crappy but it's better than guaranteed being raided by everyone um so we're going to deposit all and let's end this turn and now we've got a lot of troops i'm going to straight up attack the rebels we're going to invade them and i'm going to send 575 slave soldiers Normal soldier, 161 goblin tribals, one valley barbarian, one sunlight soldier. They don't know what hit them. We arrive at a rebel camp. Bam! We lost 32 men, um, only slave soldiers as well, and we killed 144 of theirs, capturing a land from them. So now now they've awoken the beast, so to speak, by attacking me. So Zordo, the leader of the black market, donates some gold to the slums. We've received some money from staff. 40 peasants have joined us. Damn. Um, minor bandit groups pillage from me, so not a lot. That means, because obviously usually minor bandit groups pillage, you know, I mean up to a thousand even, and, it, and and more. But I think it's maybe only one or two of them actually managed to invade us. So that's good. Due to your high wages, 30 soldiers come to your service. Alright, we invaded the lands of the rebels. Purple clan invaded the lands of the boulder gang. Kaldor's domain invaded the lands of the crut. The ultimate kingdom of Skaldin attempted to invade the bandits but failed. And the Watery Northern Cavalry attempted to invade the Crut, but were unsuccessful. So the Crut are getting smashed by everyone. But the Watery Northern Cavalry, to be fair, are a tiny little bandit group, so they're not really going to do much. Um, and I can tell you the reason the Ultimate Hill Kingdom lost against the bandits, because the bandits hired a massive army not too long ago from the Black Market. Right. Um, so let's recruit more goblins from the slavers. Um, we'll recruit all the peasants, because they work in the fields, and it's a good thing. I'm going to... Ooh, Platinum Hounds. Pretty cheap. I'm going to hire them to attack the rebels, and we're going to skirmish for now. So, Platinum War Boys. It was kind of one for one. They they killed quite a few more, actually, than the rebels did. This is good. Right, let's do it again. Um, maybe we'll evade this time, but I feel like, again, this is going to go badly. Yeah. Mm. Still, they're significantly weaker now. Let's send uh, the pink cloaks, the dark pink cloaks, led by Anvar Ar 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 Aronson. How do you say that? Let's assess them. They're well trained. Okay. Oh, no way. Can I not afford it? <gasps> oh, right. Okay. That was the money that I had. I see. Right. That was the money I earned from the last turn. Let's see who's visiting in the court. We've got a traveling goblin drummer. That was a great performance. All right. Goodbye. Um, what else have we got? Another one? Nah, I don't want to hear this again. All right. Thank you. Uh, someone tell me a joke. Go ahead. What do you call a goblin with a thief-catching tripwire? A fool. No one wants a crap. No one wants crappy goblin loot. What? What do you call a goblin with a thief-catching tripwire? I'm so confused by that one. Oh right, I get it now. Of course, there's no point in having a thief-catching tripwire if you're a goblin because no one would want to rob you because all you've got is crappy goblin junk. Meh. Eh. It was, it was, it was okay. Well, yeah, it wasn't great. What the fuck are you? I am a musical abomination. I work under the sky of chaos, but perhaps you should be lucky, and a wonderful harmonious order shall emerge from the chaos. All right, I'm going to turn the volume up for this one. You guys ready? Well... It didn't disappoint. That was the weirdest thing. Right. Next. You visited by a traveling jester who wishes to sell you, tell you a joke. Okay. A researcher in entire family tree. It seems you are a sap. To the dungeons with him, mate. That was an insult. What the fuck? Dungeons. All right. Next. So we've done that. Oh, there's bandits in there. Oh, yeah. There's that one guy I imprisoned, of course. Okay. Mercenary companies. Now we can hire them again. So why don't we hire these stony guardians? And um, we'll get them to invade the rebels. And we capture their lands. The rebels can't have many lands left. Um, let's find out. Uh, where's my monocon? Tell me. Where 
I can't lose domain. I've ten lands now. Jesus Christ! And they're number one in everything now. They're just like a massive empire. Okay, so the Eric Reindeer Butchers have only one land. They're gonna die soon. Um, how about the Rebels? The Rebels have four lands still. Shit, they're still going strong. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back in the bank. We're not gonna do the arena thing anymore because we don't need to. We're kind of established now. Brawler's Pit. Nice. Hmm. Can't afford to buy it. It's fine. Alright, let's end the turn. And again, let's invade the Rebels. This time I'm just going to send purely some slave soldiers. I'll leave everyone else out of it. And we won. Captured another land from them. Alright, so. Zorth of the Goblin of the Black Market donates more gold to the slums. We've received lots of money. 82 peasants have been enlisted this time. Um... Bannets pillage 1,609 gold from us. Holy crap. The Bannet Horde hire a small gang of 10 new bandits from the black market. The Beldo Gang hire a handful of bandits from the wild northern mercenary outpost. Everyone's hiring this turn. Alright. As Lona invaded rebels, Bannets invaded the ultimate hill king or defeated the ultimate hin hill kingdom. Words. Can't even say them. Watery northern cavalry invaded lands of the crut. What the fuck? Okay, so that's for... I mean, for, for anyone who doesn't know, it's quite unusual. Minor ba So the Watery northern cavalry are a minor bandit gang. Um, minor being the keyword there. They, they're a weak group of just loose bandits. The Crut is one of the two major goblin kingdoms. And for an invasion to be successful, you beat their army against the odds and take one of their territories, making your sort of faction stronger. So that's mad that the Watery Northern Cavalry were able to do that to the Crut. Either the Crut are in such a sorry state that they can be beaten by a bandit gang, or this bandit gang is so strong that they were able to beat a massive goblin kingdom. I'm going to go with the former, but we'll find out. Uh, da, 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 Monocon. Let's have a look. Alright. Most overall troops. So, what were they? The, uh... Reindeer Butchers have two men. Wow. The Northern Cavalry only have 168. What about the, the Goblin Kingdom of Crit? Ah, right. That's why they have 94 men. So the Northern Cavalry are twice as strong as they are. Well, if everyone's beaten on the Crit, maybe we should join in. Can I send someone... Let's finish the crut. Oh, I can't afford to do that. Withdraw. 40 bandits. You may join me. Ah, fuck it. Let's hire the mercenary gang anyway. Invade the crut. Oh, actually, that's a lot of money, though. 982 gold. F when I could hire these guys for a bit less, I guess, overall. Possibly. Alright, we did it. How many lands do the crut have? Because Kingdom of Crut. All right, I tell you what. Let's uh, check the throne out. Valley Barbarian Warrior, join me. Um, I don't want to hear the joke. Get out. And Brit the Headstrong wants to leave. No, don't leave. All right, good. All right. Um, anything we can explore? Twenty-two Master Soldiers. No. And Shalrak Mine which is currently being held by a group of goblins to claim to be the... Alright, you will give me a tribute. Scrote, the leader of the Greenskin Mining Company, approaches you and agrees to the terms, stating he's not stupid as most and wouldn't stand against a mighty king. Alright, cool. We get money every turn now. That's cool. Alright, let's finish off the Goblin Kingdom of Crut, who are now at war with us, thanks to that. And let's invade. And we can just send, like, literally 200 slave soldiers. That, that should sweep up just fine. Here we go. Little crypt cave. Go raid that place. Okay. You have slaughtered the defenders. The men rush into the capital and find a lone goblin king clapping, clapping and laughing. The invasion was a success. Victory. You defeated the crut horde and they are no more. Its copious rivals praise you. Many of them now hailing you as their true king. Five knights, 200 soldiers, 25 bannets, 100 tribals, 400 peasants, and a minor goblin clan even declare me as their rightful monarch, meaning I get plus one land and 250 tribals. What a super Duper, duper bonus. Right, that was cool. Uh, this is random as well. You can get random different awards. So you can get you can end up getting like one night as a bonus because there's like barely anyone around. This is awesome. Alright, um so Zoltho, the leader of the black market, has died in a leadership duel with Eodor the Great. Oh, that's a shame. He seemed to be quite a good guy. He donated a lot of money to the poorest people of the black market. I'm sure we'll encounter the black market soon and figure stuff out from there. 450 gold, or 15 gold from that mining company we uh, forced to give us money. The Grey Banded Rebels were robbed by one of their own. 
and have lost a great treasure. Ooh, a treasure. Happy days. Right, let's uh, leave the militia to do what it does. Hire more goblins. And what I need to do now, I think I need to... Hmm. I need to speak to the militia. The militia are currently pledged to defend us at all costs. Oh, that's fine. Okay, that's all I was going to tell them, was to make sure they get involved in every battle we have, because I don't want to lose lands. Fortunately, enlist his children. Uh, seize the fruit. You may join me. You may join me too. Uh, I don't want to pay for you. I don't want to pay for you. Valley Barbarian. Okay. So, let's carry on exploring. 75 slave soldiers. I will take them. I'm. It's getting better now. This is good. Um, okay. So, Monocon, what is the score with everyone now? Kaldar's domain is still the dominant faction in the world. Um, but who can I pick off? The rebels only have three lands now. They are our main enemy. Maybe we should focus on that. Once the rebels are dead, we'll be happy. So, first thing I'm going to do is... Let's hire the pink cloaks to do the job. Invade their lands. Ah, damn it. Alright, got one job done. You've got to do it yourself. End the turn. Invade. Let's send our slave soldiers over. They alone should be able to finish them. Happy days. We've gained loot, land, and glory. We're being attacked by the rebels. The militia have sent us 42 troops to assist us. And, yeah, two to one. We slaughtered them. Absolutely slaughtered them. Happy days. Um, okay, so that doesn't look good already. But, yeah, the well done military company. Yada, yada, yada. Stuff happens. Um, minor bandit groups pillage 219 gold from us, which isn't really that substantial. Due to high wages, 66 soldiers join. A great and unexplainable magical explosion has led to the death of 47 of your soldiers. Ugh. Okay, that's a pain. As long as rebels attempted to evade us, but they failed. Ultimate Hing Hill Kingdom of Skald also attempted to do something, but failed. So, let's hire more bandits. Uh, I mean, goblins. And then, you know what? Screw it. We're going to hire 100 peasants as well to work in the fields. And let's explore some more. Nice, we've discovered the black market. So... Black Market is my favourite place in the entire game. And I'm glad we finally found it. So, you enter into the slums on the outskirts of the Black Market. Here all manner of desolate scum and unfortunate race of human life exist. There's 980-something people here. So, the Black Market is kind of like a big booming... Uh, sort of... Essentially a settlement. I mean, it is kind of like a little mini city. Um, that lives on the crust of society. It's, it's an independent sort of area within your kind of lands kind of it's really weird but yeah it's ruled by it's got its own leader um it, it, they are bandits essentially so other bandit groups do have like influence here there we go there's a statue of zortho the goblin you visit the statue of dorthan zortho the goblin who is the old an old black market leader so we can visit the statue that was erected there before so that must have been what he looked like obviously he's now dead which is a shame I've just realised this Let's Play playthrough-y mess-around thing has gone on for, like, a long ass time. So I'm going to call it short here, but I will save, and we'll come back to this later. I'm going to save the game as Zortho, because it's the most recent thing in my mind. So this has been Warsim, the Realm of Zelona. Um, it's been a little insight, I guess, on how to play on the hardest difficulty. And I guess we've seen quite an interesting narrative play in this world. Um, it'll be nice to see where it goes from here. So thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you next time.